In this video, we'll cover setup and basic information about the Seiko Thermal POS printer. We'll get to know the printer and how to connect it to your Rescue POS system. The bottom of the printer. This is where the connection ports are located. The included power supply uses a round connector. There are pins on the connector cable. Do not force the power connector or you can damage it. It can only be removed by pulling back on the outer sheath on the connector. When using an automatic cash drawer, one side of the drawer cable should be labeled printer. You'll need to connect the drawer using the port indicated here. This printer has two USB ports that can be used to connect to one POS iPad. The USB cable must be compatible with your iPad's charging port. This is the Bluetooth module. You can connect one printer to one iPad over Bluetooth. The top of the printer. The button marked power is the on off button. To turn the printer on, short press the power button once. To turn the printer off, press and hold the button for 5 seconds. The other button, marked Feed, is the Paper Feed button. Press once for a short feed. Press and hold for a long feed. The latch is used to open the top of the printer so you can load paper. Loading the paper. The printer uses thermal printing technology. This means there is no ink cartridge. It uses special thermal active paper. If regular paper is loaded into the printer, it will not print. The paper roll size is 3 and 1 8 inch by 230 feet. Pull back the latch at the top and open the lid. Be careful not to overextend the lid more than is necessary to load the printer. Load thermal paper in the orientation indicated in the diagram inside the lid. Hold about one inch of paper out of the printer and close the lid. Printer status light. The front of the printer has a colored indicator light. Here are the most common light colors. Blue steady indicates power. Green means printing. Yellow blinking means replace the paper. Blue blinking means the printer is ready for Bluetooth pairing. Purple means the printer is overheating and needs to take a break. Purple blinking means a cutter jam. Red means there's a hardware error. If you see a red light or any lights not listed here, contact rescue support for further instructions. If you encounter a paper jam or cutter error, here are the steps to take. Clearing a paper jam. Turn off the printer. Open the lid of the printer to inspect. Take out the paper roll and remove any paper debris. Reinsert the roll and turn the printer back on. For a cutter error, turn the printer off. Gently work the lever to unstick the cutter. When the cutter is free, the lid should be able to open. Reseat the paper roll and close the lid. Turn the printer back on. If these steps fail to clear the air, please contact Rescue Support for further instructions. Connecting your printer. There are two ways to connect your printer to your POS iPad, via USB or via Bluetooth. For USB, you can choose to use either the standard USB port or the USB-C port. The other end of the cable must be compatible with your model of iPad, which will be either Apple Lightning or USB-C. For Bluetooth pairing, turn the printer off. Hold the power button on the printer for seven seconds until the light is blinking blue. Go to the iPad Bluetooth settings and select the printer. The printer should now show connected in iPad settings. Contact Rescue Support for additional setup steps within the Rescue POS app. 
In this video, we covered the Seiko thermal printer, including external buttons and ports, how to load the paper, the status light meanings, how to clear errors, and how to connect your printer to your iPad. Thanks for watching.